together. Five, four, three, two, one. Last all. This show on the road. Coffee hot and that ambrosia, cool it down. Man, where we at? What time is it? Oh, I mean, guess by cutting a cook few things out. Of my schedule, out of my schedule, save a little bit of time. Time went fast, but now it's back to the grind, back to the hustle that builds muscle. We're gonna continue with the story of G today. Potential and expectation, while ignoring the presentation. Man, I was proud to receive anything dressed up. Without like any further ado, out of a wardrobe made up of second chance. Dutiful, lust driven, and pitiful love, I willingly clothed myself because I was afraid of their flight. Fully fatigued by malnourished love. Oh, it's time to grab the glass. His family is time for us to get started. I'm so excited. Sitting up here, kid magic. This is kid magic rock. Shots out. Here we go. Drink your water Come on, come on, drink your water But first, take your breath and drink some water Take your breath Take your breath and drink some water Take your breath Take your breath and drink some water Take your breath Drink, 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 drink or should I say, breathe, breathe, then drink? Take a breath, take a breath, take your breath. Take now, your breath. grab your glass for some water. Grab, grab your it. glass. Lift your picture of that water. Or a bottle. Get that picture of that water. Uh -huh. Simply pour some, some water. water. Drink, 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 drink. drink. Or should I say, lift, pour, then drink Now move your body and drink some water Move your body Move your body hey. and drink some water Move your body Move your body and drink some water what? Bam Just, Just move, move your, your body. body Drink, 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 drink or should I say, 
of the mighty, the home of the stubborn minority, the place where your hustle builds muscle, this is Giami Journey Media. I, ha <laughs> I am your host, Brother High Tim, and of course, I want to wish all of those out there, especially you Emoja born, I want to wish you a great day and I want to give you a round of applause. Come on, don't be stingy with them. Don't y'all be stingy with them. Give it up for them. Give it up for them. Come on now. Shouts out to the Emoja born and Emoja babies out there. It's your day. It's your day. Of course, you know that this is a Heart of a Simba production. We strive, strive, strive to blow up your old paradigm. Oh, we've been blowing them up. I mean, we've been blowing them up for over 10 years now. Over. But every day, we've been blowing them up for six straight years. Blow them up again. Oh, oh, oh. Man, we moving on to year six. Uh, uh, uh. Lord have mercy. Ooh, the moringa making my coffee. You know, oh Lord have mercy. Mm. Passing the moringa, the moringa wine during that break, man, and um, got me on some moringa for real. I'm doing the moringa, all right? But hey, um, but y'all know today we are going to finish up. We're going to finish up um, uh, G. Hopefully, we can finish it today, and we can get into some other material tomorrow. Um, maybe we might take a couple of days of uh, break and just think about some other rants, or maybe just go straight into the note, because I want to finish the books. I want to finish all the books before the New Year's, because there's going to be a major change coming, because 
I have to decide on. I'm gonna have to drop a few of my choice uh, services, um, because uh, the my speaker my speaker contract, let's say, is ending early, right? So on January second, right? By January second, I got to decide on my next step for my speaker contract. Right, so um, um, is moving from what it was, absolutely nothing, to 120 times that. You know, 120 times nothing is still nothing. So let's say if it was a dollar, 120 times that. Right, um, they switching it up on me, and like I said, what I'm gonna have to do is because this was suggested for me, and I thought I was gonna have time. What happens with with, because this was an unprecedented break, just like the um, COVID piece was unprecedented. This was an unprecedented break for a school because, in a sense, we got nine days. Now you count the five. You count Mon. Um, excuse me. I gotta do those push-ups. Umoja through Nia, but I'm counting the um, the Nia night. Before the week, that bring us uh, um, Kumba, Imani, and then that Mon that that Emoja through Nia, and then we got that other weekend. So that's nine whole days, unprecedented, and I had absolutely no plans for that time. I was going to rest up, get tired of resting, and get into the black cave and start solving problems but other people and other issues had ideas right so shit start popping up absorbing my time and and and, and for those that know how i work if i don't get it early i don't get it you understand what i'm saying so it's like uh, a simple meeting at 10 for me will throw off my whole day, right? Because it's like, boom, now because either I got to get up extra early to do the show because the show could take about two hours to get ready for, especially if I'm doing other stuff. But it's some stuff that I decided that I'm going to cut off because I'm looking at and being like, is it really, is there an ROI, a return on investment? Like, for example, the proverb of the day, although it's fun, right? I could send proverb of the day out to... uh possible supporters and to my supporters right rather than creating and sending out every morning on um tiktok because i you know i don't know I, I i'm not getting any all eye on that right i'm looking at my uh when i send out the massive text in the morning what is the difference if i'm sending out mass text to my twitter to my facebook pages uh, um, to wherever, and I'm able to send it all out at the same time. The question is, what is the ROI, right? Am I doing what I'm doing to the most effective? And this week, I was supposed to look at all that, but I really ain't. I ain't have a time. I didn't have an opportunity to do that because, I mean, like I said, uh, Umoja, I hit the ground. I mean, it's, it's like that. I hit the ground running, and I'm like. So what I have to do is figure out how to sometime put myself in a bubble so that I'm totally isolated because I already know like the break that there's not even a break coming up because we are in Kwanzaa season, right? So in some form or fashion, I am going to be involved or Giami is going to be involved with the Kwanzaa piece. This whole Thanksgiving, this whole black family thing, uh, flat, black family break was really the only break that I get. You know what I'm saying? And it wasn't a break. You know, I'm grateful for the little bit of time that I did have. And then, you know, I also got to, but the one thing I did get to do, I got the veg, right? I got the veg. What do I mean? Um, I didn't catch up on any shows. I did see, I saw uh, The Harder They Fall. Um, I, I, I caught up. Uh, I did my Young Justice. I didn't catch up on this week. So I missed this week. I'm going to watch this week's and ne next week's 
um what I'm I'm gonna watch last week's and this week's on um this weekend, right? Wake up on uh, Kumba morning and have two hours of it, right? Um I didn't catch up on my uh Mar uh my Marvel cartoon. Uh, not my Marvel, uh yeah. Yeah. I gotta catch up on my cause Marvel got a new show that I you know I like checking out. But what I also got to do this weekend or over this week, I've been listening to Dune, Dune Messiah, and I also got into some, I think it's Rick Reardon's books. Um, he has a line of books. Well, let me just put it just, the reason I'm looking at these books um, is because it's like you have Dune, which a lot of older people like. I don't, I, the movie, after reading the books, the movies are garbage. I'm just saying. I, it's, it's, I don't know how they're going to make this. You, It's going to take massive amount of, amount of money and create a creative mind. So I'm going to follow what they're doing. I think it's on HBO, what they're doing with Doom right now. That one was okay, but the movie was garbage, right? But the book, right? I'm looking at it, and I'm like, what? was in this book that got young people because it was a lot of young people that was reading doom you know what i'm saying when i was coming up it was a lot of young people reading doom young white people reading doom right long ass book you know what i'm saying the audio was 24 hours long then i got into doom messiah so i know what made this book pop off what made it stand out right because i can remember um and I often tell a story, when Dr. Dre and Snoop Dogg came out with their movie, Car Wash, it wasn't Car Wash, it's called The Wash. My, my sons wanted to go see it, the Gianni boys wanted to go see it, right? And I'm like, okay, cool, we're going, you know, because we, at the, during, at, during that period of Gianni, we was on Bryden Road, I think we was on Bryden, and, um, you know, I would pile up the car with 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 my boys and some of the kids, some other young other young men, um, in the neighborhood, or basically in the family, and I take them all to the movies. We go to the movies, and all of us are going up to the movies, and they want to see the wash. But I'm looking around, I'm seeing little kids, some black, but a majority of them white, with wands and shit, and 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 I'm sitting up here and I'm looking at the book, and the book is that thick. And I'm sitting up here like, what in the world is going on here? Right? And that's when the Harry Potter movie came out. And I got inspired. I said, I want to read this book. Because what inspired all these young people to really get involved with this world? Right? And then I start reading and I'm like, okay, it's the hero's journey. It's the same story told over and over and over again and they just flipped the character and they caught a wave and it grew right so i'm reading this rick reardon rick reardon does uh camp young blood or whatever i think that's what it's called but he does series where he takes uh uh, gods like the, the 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 greek pantheon the nordic pantheon and he formulates a story about the demigods that uh, are in those traditions so you got a young boy by the name of percy jackson who fathers neptune who never knew that his father was neptune and he's thrown into this world and he ends up going to this camp called camp young blood where he is taught about who he is about his legacy and blah 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 and he's able to go out and challenge the world then you got this um chase last name is chase uh, I can't remember his first name that I just got. I literally just finished the third book today where he's he's a he's a from the Nordic Nordic Pantheon. Right. And there's a connection between the Nordic Nordic Pantheon and Olympic Pantheon because this Chase family is mingled between both of them. I'm sitting up and like, oh, OK, I got you. So he got a whole series of books. Well written, funny. You know what I'm saying? And could communicate with you. And he got a whole group of young people that are reading his books. I said, why can't we do the same thing? Because the same thing has already been done, but it's been done for adults. 
You know what I'm saying? And it's like, uh, like for example, uh, American Gods. In American Gods, a lot of people went crazy um, because of the movie. But those those that's been in my circle, we've been reading like um, a Nazi's Boys, same author as American Gods, the Nazi Boys. That shit was cold, right? Then you had um, within American Gods, you had a Nazi, and then in the show you had a Nazi and um, the 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 black artist. So uh, so it was a it's a whole bunch of stuff going on. But that's adult stuff. How can we take these big concepts? And squeeze them down so that our, so that we can start including our children in the African mythology. You understand? Because there's a certain there's a certain pride when something comes from you. It's you're part of a tradition. How do we plug our children into our traditions unless we put it in a form that they can understand? They understand comics they understand kids books right are there books out there like that and if they are like i said let me know because i'm looking for those or i'm going to have to you know what i'm saying because in a sense we got it with g because that's one that was one of the motivating factors for me was because there has to be a mythology because what we got is not working right and we always know the ends like i like I couldn't go see the Nat Turner movie, right? I couldn't go see it, right? Why? Because I know the end. <laughs> I mean, that's just me. And maybe that should have been my rant today, right? And I want to apologize to those people that's receiving, and I didn't even send, that sh send it out. Shame on me. Shame on me. All right, they can catch the rebroadcast. I am going to... Um, And I want to apologize to all of those people that are on our email list. Why do I want to apologize? Because the write-ups have not been dope. The write-ups have not been dope. Um, and, you know, because like I said, we're going through the G saga. And it's like, I can't think of anything to do. And when I plug it in to the software, the software don't understand what I'm talking about. You know what I'm saying? So we'll come back. And I, I promise we're going to have some dope write-ups. We're going to have some dope write-ups for you. I promise. We're going to have some dope write-ups for you. It's coming. I promise. Um, I'm emailing that out now. And I'm, uh, and I'm going to focus on my email list now um, rather than, you know what I'm saying, Rather than uh, all the other stuff, I'm, I'm I'm going to work on building up our email list, and I'm really counting on the fam out there to help us out. You know what I'm saying? Because by you sharing, by you liking and sharing, especially on the replays, you know what I'm saying? Um, by you liking and sharing, um, um, whether you are on Facebook, whether you catch us, whether you looking at it, and you you got a a ding on Twitter. Whether you own us on Spreaker, whether you with us on um, Twitch or any of the other platforms, we would greatly appreciate it if you share as we start trying to, as we start growing. Because there's a lot of stuff coming. I'm just letting y'all know there's a lot of stuff coming from the t shirts being printed, you know what I'm saying, to the to how the ambrosia is being, being done. To even all the way up into us having community tokens. To us even having community tokens. You know what I'm saying? Because we could use credit too. We could use credit too. It's just a matter of making sure that people understand how to get the wallets. And we're going to work on that. We're going to work on that, right? We are, we, we are going to be ahead of the curve. We're going to stay ahead of the curve here at Jeremy Journey Media. Because when people was just contemplating doing a podcast, you know what I'm saying? We was doing a podcast. When people was contemplating blogs, we was doing blogs. We're like, brother, how Tim? Why you ain't blow up? 
<laughs> as that as that meme on um on TikTok goes, because you ain't shared my shit. You you ain't <laughs> why you ain't blow up? You've been doing this for so long. And the whole piece is it's not a matter of blowing up, it's a matter of getting our stuff in the face of people who understand what we're doing. Right? And then a lot of people. And it don't have to be a lot of people. Right? Well, if there's only, I mean, but there's enough because there's billions. There's, there's about 2 billion people on the internet. You can't tell me we don't, we can't get 1% of that or 1% of 1% of that. You can't tell me. Or 1% of that 1%. Right? Anyway, today, we're going to complete the story of G, and it is my pleasure. Hopefully, we'll be able to complete it today. Um, but um, uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It slipped my mind, but bam! Oh, 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 for those on Spreaker, what just happened is Bay New Health. Seamoss just popped up on the screen. Bay New himself is sitting right there. Bay New Health is coming to uh, interwebs near you, you know what I'm saying? And I think we're gonna we we gonna we gonna throw some Bay New up on. Um, we gonna yeah yeah Bay New Health is coming soon. I I I I'm just letting y'all know Bay New Health is about to pop off. All right, bam! Once again, make sure you got it. Bay New Health, be on the lookout for it. All right, um, CMOS, and it's gonna do other stuff. The greens. The greens I had sold out. Now, I don't know what happened. I'm just going to be quiet. Just going to be quiet. Just going to be quiet. Because I didn't deliver all the way on, on my end, so I can't be upset. But anyway, we, we're moving the greens. Uh, a lot of stuff is moving. Also, uh, another one of our sponsors I want to salute, send out. Little Booties Matter. Saluting all little booties all over the world. You do matter, little booties, and you get a salute. L-I-L-B-O-O-T-I-E-S-M-A-T-T-E-R, Ohio.com. Go to Little Booties Matter, Ohio.com, and you can get your choice of lingerie designed by petite women for petite women. Because as we say here at Giami Journey, and we salute you, Little Booties Matter, L-B-M. All right. Also, family, we want to send out shots to Blossom 7 Creations. Blossom 7 Creations, as you can check out, she has hooked up the the the, the um, rank bees. She also does uh, clutch purses. I still ain't still ain't ordered the clutch purses for the Giami girls. I'm gonna get some more. I don't want to distribute one because there'll be problems. So I gotta get some more. I just like I said, you know, ah. Time got away from me. I just sometimes, you know what I'm saying? I just, sometimes I just veg, man. I, I just, I just veg. I gotta, I try to have a very simple life, right? Uh, also, um, you can reach Blossom 7 Creations at blossom7creations.com. Or if you need to accentuate your elegance, if you have an outfit that you want unique earrings for, you want a unique necklace for, you know what I'm saying? Or or you want um, a neat, uh, uh, unique clutch bag for, special material and all that. They get that done for you. All you got to do is go to, you could go to Blossom7Creations.com or you go to 77, you could call 773-614-7278. Once again, that number is 773-614-7ART. That's A R two A R T seven art. That was that was brilliant. Um, you can ask for Lotus, Blo Lotus Blossom and let her know that Brother Hot Kim from Giami Journey. Just say Giami Journey. She'll know what you're saying. And then also, we got DDW floors and more DDW floors and more. Yes, they do drywall. Yes, they can help you with painting, but their specialty is floors. Family, if you have floors that you want to shine then you need DDWs to come in and blow your mind. Family, DDW floors and more will do what you need to those floors. But here you go, 614-735-4168. You can reach them at 614-735-4168. Now, we done gave the families salutes. 
And now we about to go on and we about to do what we came here to do. We're going to do this part of G. We on this last part of G. So let me make sure. Is, is, are you available so that we go and pull you up, G? Yep, yep, yep. Oh, I'm back at the beginning. If I'm correct, we left off on page 12. How did I end up back at the beginning, brother? How you end up back at the beginning, bro? Now, this is an illustrated book. And if you only knew the problems I had getting this book illustrated. If you only knew the problems I had getting this book illustrated. It's been years and years. I done had artists living in the house and everything. And my, people were supposed to jump. It's the same thing with my book, right? I'd be like, yo, I need a proofread. Can you help me out? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And it never happens, right? So, you know, I do it, put it together, send it out. People are like, oh, you got to be perfect. No, I don't have to be perfect because one of the things that I want to demonstrate here at Geometry Journey Media is stop waiting for, for perfection. Send it out and correct it. We're we going we gonna, to we gonna do this how our lives have been put together. We have been able to take the worst things and make them better. We have been thrown into the worst parts of life and we've been able to make them, get be make them better. So why can we do the same thing with our creations? Right? Why, you know what I'm saying? A lot of us are sitting around waiting. We, we I keep on telling y'all, there is no magic moment. There is, um, in, in most cases... There is no magic moment. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people are sitting around waiting, and the only thing that I have to ask every time is, what in the world are you waiting for? In fact, everybody else is waiting for you. Right? So, um, I got the art, I got the art that I could get done, got it on here, and I'm sharing it with y'all. So, uh, what we're gonna do, we're gonna get up. Uh, um and we're gonna start on page 12 so anime if you could baby please baby please could you please sound my war horn please get your mind right that's what the horn is telling you we're about to go to war and my theme music please goddamn right thinking all the time I can't help it my mind is like a flower in bloom but um here we go Let's get it. Let's get it. Can I get my time clock? Boom. There we go. And don't switch us over if you would, sir. All right. Hopefully there's a nice little transition sound in there for y'all somewhere. But here we go. So we are on page 12 of the, the trials of G. G has uh, found the phoenix, got the feather, went back to the people of Nyame, and the people of Nyame released him, but in the same token that they released him, they disappeared, which is another piece of discussion which leaves room for more. And those in Nyame, hopefully y'all are catching what I'm saying. It leaves room for more. Where did the Yami people go? As a matter of fact, I think y'all heard one of the stories where we talked about the legend of the Yami people. There's stories that are out there. There are stories that are in you. Right? Anyway. So we're going to start here. The world looked totally different to G now. He could feel the pain of Earth and her children. He instantly knew people's hearts when he met them. He knew that he was responsible and had to help guide the world before it destroyed itself. When he entered his people's land, the sadness was so thick that G had to rest. The sorrow overtook him, and he could barely handle it. Before he was to make his return, he had to get used to his new abilities because he could easily be overwhelmed. G found a private location and went to meditation. It had been almost 20 years since G had been home, and a lot had changed. G's father and brother had expanded their tribal borders and caused a lot of needless death. Blacks were fighting blacks, and a select few were profiting from this. Chief Sin and Father Kanai were robbing the people by overtaxation. They were selling their own people off into slavery for money. The people were oppressed and had nowhere to turn. Hmm. Hmm. 
Hmm. G made an entry to, at his brother's compound. His brother did not recognize him at first. Immediately, Sim was jealous because of an unnatural glow of power around this man. At first, G wanted to destroy Sim, but when he, when G looked at his brother and saw the dark energy radiating from his shell, G felt nothing but pity for him. This was a man that was totally at the mercy of his shell. G approached his brother. What does it mean to be at the mercy of your shell? See, that's another discussion point. Chief Sin had been traveling for many years. He said, Chief Sin, I have been traveling for many years to get to your village, and I would like to have your permission to stay. Stranger, who are you, and what do you mean you have been traveling for many years to get here? My lord, many years ago, I lived in your village, but I was kidnapped by some bandits and sold into slavery. I recently escaped and made my way back home. Of course, you are welcome here, but first, stranger, give me your name. Sir, my name is G, son of Chief Kanai. Impossible, that will make you my brother, and my brother died almost 20 years ago. My brother, that also means that I am the true ruler of these lands and people. If you are who you say you are, then you first have to get out of my compound and seek audience with the Council of Elders. I don't think that is going to happen. Chief Sin raises his hand, and the gates closes, and 20 men appear. G, many things have changed since you left. I'd like you to introduce you to my personal guard. They will make sure that the miracles of your the miracle of your turn to us will be brief and painful. Destroy him. <laughs> G had already sensed the trap, so he prepared his mind and body. The men came running at G all at once, spears in hand. G grabbed the closest spear to him, did a backward roll, flipping the bearer in the hair. Before he hit the ground, G was already on his feet. Battling with the other 19 soldiers, no one could believe their eyes because G was moving so fast and with such accuracy that no one soldier, uh, with such accuracy that one soldier after another fell to the ground. One minute he would be standing up, the next second he would be on the ground, flipping, moving like a monkey. Not one of the soldiers could keep up or even defend themselves against him. The last five standing surrendered to him and dropped to their knees and pledged allegiance. To prove their seriousness, they immediately surround his brother Sin. Sin fell to his knee, begging for mercy. Ooh, look at the picture. Look at the picture there. Oh, Sin, don't. Oh, Sin. Come on, man. He was just talking all fly a minute ago. Now you on loin, on the ground in your loin cloth crying. Come on, man. Brother, please have mercy upon me. You got a village and a treasure. Just let me live. Spare me. For I spare you. <laughs> Sin, there's no need to beg for your life and there's no need for you to lie. You didn't spare me. Your killers sold me into slavery to fatten their pockets. My brother, I will let you live, but you will not live here. You must go out into the world off you must go into the world off of our people's land, and reciprocity will surely deal with you. Word spread quickly that G had returned, and also about his battle with the guards. The people were thrilled. They had prayed for someone to come and relieve them of the injustice that had been plaguing them for the last few years. That's that waiting. That was that waiting. But hold on. That's what many of you doing with your talents and skills. Waiting. I don't know what you're waiting for. When Father Knive heard that G was back, he had a heart attack and died from the shock. Sin and his mother were caught by some of the people as they were trying to trying to leave um they killed sin's mother and burnt out sin's eyes damn it was mad g immediately called the council of elders together to meet and had them declare him the new chief his first act was to lower the taxes that sin had placed on them then he immediately began to train the military to protect their borders from slave raiders he then gave back the lands that sin and Kanai took from the surrounding villages G then spent the next three years teaching and training his people. At the end of the three years, G's village had a well-trained army, but no war or crime. All the village children were in school or being trained in the trade, and the people began to prosper. Once G got, a, got his home straight, he went to the surrounding villages to speak with the other chiefs. He let them know that he was not trying to establish a council. He was now trying to establish a council to organize all black people. He went to all of his people's villages and offered all the chiefs a seat on the council. At first, the chief thought it was a trick, but when they heard about the improvements that G made in his own village, they became more open to working with him. As the council grew, so did their power. The council elected G as their leader. G's next goal was to 
go to each village and find righteous young people that he could pass on the knowledge that he had learned from the Nyame and the insights he picked up with his new abilities. These young people would become the Giami people that the Phoenix told him about. He set up an intense training program for these people because he knew that they would become the future leaders of this new nation that was forming. Chief found one person from each village to start with. The process took 50 years for the first group, and each one swore to only pass on the knowledge that they attained to worthy people. G had many trials and adventures before the Phoenix came to get him. This is just the beginning of the story. All right, so we completed the story of G. Man, man, I had three days. That was three days. I didn't, you know, I didn't know. Excuse me, I didn't know it was that long. Of course, this will be available. You know what I'm saying? This will be available along with the illustrated story of G. Um, of course, on the uh, on our site for those that are interested. But we finished the story of G. Another round of applause if you could, man. Oh, that was that was fantastical. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed reading it to you. Now I got to think about what I'm going to talk about tomorrow or what direction we will be going in. Because we're going to go in some direction. I just don't know what direction we're going to go in yet. Um, I'm thinking I'm thinking about doing the next book, Freedom Within Limits. But once again, that would limit the writing. I, but I, I, Hopefully, I could get a good idea of what the um, actually I think I'll be able to come up with some good conversation with this because this is a compilation of, of some more of the blogs that I was writing years before I started I mean I've been damn I started I started my I probably did my first blog oh my god I this I don't know but anyway so we're gonna start uh, freedom within limits um, get my mind right get ready gonna get it moving we and hopefully we could be finished with this um and be ready to move into kwanzaa without any problems right be able to move into kwanzaa um you know i put up some old uh some old um um some old celebrations and some new ones we're going to be having a morning ritual for kwanzaa um, I'm um, uh, Giamme right now is in talks with uh, Elder Tony, and of course, Tawi will be doing something in the evening, and we will be letting y'all know about that as well. But hey, that's my time, and here we go. Anime, if you would, baby, please. Oh man, can I have my theme music? I am. I'm thinking all. Yeah, goddamn right. I'm thinking all the time. <sighs> Get tiring sometime doing all this thinking. But um, like I was saying, Ty, we will be doing something even, and I'll be letting y'all know. Um, of course, in some form of fashion, uh, we're gonna be putting some video together because I'm training some of the uh some of the young um, warriors because I don't want to just say young man because it's gonna be some young ladies too if they are interested. Um. And creating um, the first task is going to be creating flyers um, uh, um, and other illustrations um, using some of this equipment and then uh, of course video editing you know what I'm saying we're gonna be doing a whole lot of work around video editing and using the equipment and I got like now I got like 30 days to make something happen and we gotta get real creative with it within the next um so many days you know what i'm saying and that's what we're gonna do you know what i'm saying that's what we do here jammy journey we're gonna make it happen so um and you know and like i said be doing some you know people that want to come in we're gonna have a 21 day no my 21 week thing together for you so that you can keep up with jammy journey learn about our ways about our myths about what we do and you'll be able to go through the process Go through the process with us, right? Get up because you know part of part of the process is going to be getting up, doing this daily toast with us. You know what I'm saying? I just want y'all to know. So, um, also, far as the daily toast, and I ain't talking about this one, right? I ain't talking about this is this is 
the moment. We're toasting the moment. So this is the emoji toast. The daily toast happen every day at 5.45 a.m. in the morning. And we would love for you to join us, right? We got all the ancestors. You want to get your ancestors on the list. It's a very, very simple process. And I want you to listen up close so that I can tell you how this process works. So what we want you to do, right? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Something up. What we want you to do is, um, hold on. Uh, what we want you to do is go to gnj.media. Go to gnj.media, if you would. I want you to go to gnj.media. G2. Where's G3? That would be G3 right here. All right. And G4, okay. I thought I uploaded. I didn't. Uh, go to gnj.media if you would that's the letter g the letter n the letter j dot media the word that's it click it in and when you go to gnj.media right below the picture you'll see a picture it'll either be us streaming live or it will be a picture say gnj.media will be right back in red black and green right up under there there's a line that says email type your email in click follow and what's going to happen is that you will you will be put on our email list after being put on our email list right after being put on our email list what what will happen is this you'll get an email from us every morning letting you know about the uh the moment toast or moja the 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 toast in the moment right um, i'm going to arrange something to send out to let people know that the daily toast out you know i don't know i don't know if i'm gonna do that but if you are signed up on our facebook on our youtubes on our twitch page um or even on our spreaker right it'll let you know that we are going live so that you can go and uh know when it when the show is popping off but getting back to the ancestors that and your ancestor list they like brother hot tim good god almighty so to add your ancestor to the list what you do is after you become a follower you will be able to send um be able to send us emails you'll be able to just go and click reply or copy and paste the email address and you'll be able to send us the names of your ancestors right please be mindful other people want to put their ancestors on the list in the byline or in the subject matter in the subject heading or whatever you put ancestors right ancestors add to the list please or blah 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 you put that on there so that i can sort of catch our attention i get it also those of you that might that might not want to do that right that's the best way to do it but those of you that want to go through the other media in order to get it to get at us by all means, you can do that as well because uh, we monitor all of them. We monitor all of them. So you might take you a little bit more time to get on the list, but we're going to get you on the list. Don't get, don't get a twist. We're going to get you on the list, right? So um, you get your ancestors on the list and you will be toasted and it'll be added at the top of the next week, all right? Because a lot of that stuff we pre-recorded. Now, the reason we pre-recorded it because I couldn't consistently get up and have it go off at the time that it needed to go off. We got it going off every morning at 545 in the morning, right? Now, when I'm up and I'm doing, like I'm saying, because in most cases I'm up, I'm preparing for the show, um, the the uh, the moment show. Like today, I was, I was, I was up and I was checking out the uh, messages and sending out messages this morning right and i'm able to check the show out but we want to make sure especially for those that are newly into gma that have to go on and follow the 21 week or they doing their 21 um or some people in gma that are doing a 21 day challenge you know what i'm saying you know uh, we want to make sure that the toast is available for people every morning at a consistent time early enough so that you can get your day started. So we started pre-recording it for your convenience. Yeah, yeah, go on, give us a round of applause. Yep, 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 yep. Now, those of you that may have long, you'd be like, brother, I tell you, I got my own list. I got a long list of ancestors. 
All right, you give us some of your ancestors. We'll add some of your major ancestors to our list, but you could go and toast along with us, right? You could toast with us. You could go and lift up your ancestors, have your ancestors list, and be reading them right along as we read ours. You could just take the words off. You could turn the volume down and read your ancestor list. You know what I'm saying? Because there's a good chance that your ancestor list might not be as long as ours because our ancestor list is about 100 people. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I mean, 100, 100 people with their ancestors. You understand what I'm saying? So we got... We got close to a thousand ancestors, if not more than a thousand. So I'm quite sure that you will still be able to catch catch the toast and read your ancestors right along with us, the ones that couldn't, that you didn't put on the list. All right. Anyway, let me go and drink my coffee, my healthy coffee. Ew, bitter. Oh. Anyway, we gonna open up. We gonna pour this. We gonna pour this ambrosia. Down in the glass, down in the glass, right? Uh, and what we're going to do, and what we're going to do is that we are going to toast the moment right now. This is what we're going to do. So we're going to lift up our glass, opening our mind up, right? Opening up our spirit, opening up our emotions, opening up our intuition, right? Opening up our mind, opening up our physical body we are opening it up and we are opening it up and we're toasting the creator by whatever whatever name you choose the creator although we toasted this morning we want to make sure that we toast and open up with the creator and we say ashe and then we're going to move to our ancestors our personal ancestors we're lifting up our glass we're saluting our personal ancestors family we're lifting it up high and we say ashe from there, family, where do we go? Where are we going? From there, we're going to move directly into this moment right now. We're lifting up our glass, and we're saluting this moment. Family, 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 right now, we are on Emoja. I ask you to open up your reticular formation. Seek out Emoja, right? Take time today to speak about Emoja. Talk about Emoja. Share Emoja, right? Keep it moving. Keep that energy moving. Keep that energy thriving, right? Send it out. Send it out with power. Send it out with love. Use it in power. Use it in love, right? And this is all. And this is all we asking you, right? Because we got to put um, meat on the bones of our culture. We got to. We got to animate our culture now. We got to bring it alive, right? And so we got to start thinking about it and and and, and learn to use it. For those that don't speak the language, Umoja means unity. The modic principle of the day is truth. The color is violet, as you can tell tell by my shirt. Dang. Wow, it's hot up in this mug, boy. But anyway, hot up under these lights. But hey, praise, you know what I'm saying? So um, it's Violet. And those that want to support Giami Journey, you can go on and order your daily toaster shirt. And no, because there's a good chance that your daily toaster shirt might be done by one of the young people in Giami. <laughs> Ain't that something, right? Ain't that something, right? Well, we could put orders in be like, boom, here, five, boom, hey, boom, hey. We could do it. Wow. That is incredible. That is incredible. Hmm. John and Chloe posting and handling it, but we could do that. Anyway, we're lifting it up, and we say, oh, my fault. We ain't done yet, Violet. And if you want if you want the merch, it's merch.gnj.media. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start doing separate, like, for example, Daily Toast. You know what I'm saying? Daily Toast, boom. Get all the daily toast so that you go and get the daily toast um, shirt. You know, Giame, boom, Giame merch or G merch or something like that. We're we going to get it together as well as do something for Bay New Health. I'm going to do something for Bay New Health as well. So that y'all can, you know, start ordering Bay New Health and we can start sending it out as well. Right? Sending it out as well. Um, and so, um, but anyway, um, mentalism. Right is the hermetic principle of the day. Male name for the day is Quojo. Female name is Ajua. We lift up our glass. We salute. We salute. And what do we say? We say Ashe. And from there, I'm grabbing that Phoenix A. Been blessed with that Phoenix A. Right? We're going to lift it up. We're going to toast. We're going to say, We toast our children, our children's children, on to infinity. 
This the Phoenix future. And you know I'm toasting our future out there. We say Ashe. 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 Family, I wish you peace, power, joy, and 100 years. And as we say in Giammi Kedian, because we can. Because this is our thing. All right, family. I will see you tomorrow. Let's do this one. I want to do something. Let's do this one. And it's on!